For those that need the introduction, Ashlord is a free-to-play MMORPG, made in Korea and translated by Codemasters. Being free-to-play, Codemasters makes its money by selling items that will help you level up at a faster pace. The Wii is a home video game console created by Nintendo. Its controllers are wireless and have several niche features, including pointing capacities and motion sensing. The instructions on how to make these controls work inside Ashlar will be provided on my second video. This one is simply a demonstration of the controls working inside a game. So, let's get started. Here's a list of all the buttons and their names. Pause the video if you wish to read it better. Controlling the mouse pointer is as simple as aiming at the screen. Left click is done with button A and right click with button B as shown in the double click. The D-pad provides digital turning of the camera. The zoom is controlled with a plus and minus button. The home button in the center quickly turns the camera 180 degrees. If you are pressing the B button, the minus, home and plus buttons will serve to change to one of the three types of camera. With the one button you can cycle through your action bars located at the bottom of the screen. The 2 button lets you pick up stuff from the floor. Or you can simply do a vertical strong movement with a Wiimote. By doing a double click on the home button, you can turn on and off the world map. Before moving on to the nunchuck, I show how you can do normal attacks. Simply shake the Wiimote in a horizontal way, and that's the same as pressing 3 on the keyboard. To know if the nunchuck is being detected, press A and B buttons together. No the computer voice will sound giving the current steps. In the nunchuck, the analog stick moves your character around. You are also allowed to do diagonals. Pressing the C button lets you force attacks and combined with the Wiimote works as a shortcut to all the slots in the action bar. Pressing the Z button temporarily switches the action bar, returning to the previous one when you let go. If you double-click the Home button while pressing Z, that will turn on and off the minimap instead of the world map. The Z button, combined with the Wiimote, allows you to access some important windows. Z and 1 opens your Character Info window, Z and 2 opens your Inventory, both Bags and Chantra. Z and Minus opens your Guild and Friends list, and Z and Plus will open your Options window, where you can adjust in-game settings. Last but not least, checking the Nunchuck in a horizontal way will select the next target in view. This can be combined with a Z button to invert the order of target selection. And by the way, you will feel a little nice vibration feedback from the Wiimote every time you do a normal attack movement. Hope you have enjoyed this video. 
and search for my second video which shows how to put these controls to work. If you wish to reach me to provide feedbacks or simply to read the official topic for my work, visit the Guild Royal Storm Forum. The topic is available on the public area where anyone can post, even without a forum account. Okay, that's it. Like ours, over and out.